Well, temperatures are still on the chilly side across the valley right now. 52 in McAllen. Those dew points at 52 degrees. We are still dealing with some foggy conditions in some locations, but current temps right now 57 in Harlingen, 58 in Brownsville. We are going to be warming up again today, but as we look at that dense fog advisory, it will be in effect for Hidalgo, Willacy and Cameron counties until 9 o'clock this morning. And looking at that visibility tracker, we're seeing this dense fog still in place uh, from Brownsville to Harlingen through Raymondville uh, in eastern Hidalgo County. There, so where you see those white colors, that's we what we're seeing that dense fog uh, currently at the moment. As we look at those uh, dense fog and driving safety reminders, you want to avoid those high beam headlights. Slow down, give yourself some extra time, and limit your distractions and focus on the road as you are heading out the rest of this morning. As far as our dog walk forecast, we are expecting those temps to remain chilly through 9 a.m., getting up to about 63 by 10 a.m. 11 a.m. 71 degrees, so definitely fairly good conditions if you're going to go walk your dog during the lunchtime hours because we're expecting that sunshine to once again make its appearance. But conditions are going to be all different for the weekend because we are expecting our next strong cold front to arrive early tomorrow morning, bringing breezy conditions, highs in the 60s, and we're going to see those temps fall throughout the day. But Sunday morning, we're going to be waking up into the 30s and 40s with highs only getting up to about 58 degrees. So chilly weather, jacket weather back into the forecast for the weekend. Future clouds and radar showing that cold front arriving tomorrow morning with some cloud cover. And we could see some stray showers just ahead of that front there, but temperatures are just going to be uh, very uh, rather cooler as we head into those afternoon hours. We could briefly hit the 60 degree mark as we head into the morning hours and then Saturday night into Sunday. That's when we're going to see that cold air start filtering on in with overnight lows dropping into the low 40s. Some areas could actually make it into the 30s there. So for tomorrow, there's been that uh, it's going to that cold front is going to be bringing some very dry weather that in combination with those very breezy conditions is going to cause that fire weather watch to be in effect for the entire Rio Grande Valley uh, for all day tomorrow and it's going to be expiring at 6 p.m. on Saturday there. So definitely be very careful if you're doing any type of outdoor or burning uh, for tomorrow. We're going to see chilly weather for Sunday and then we're going to be warming up right back into the 70s for Monday with sunshine uh, in store for us. So we're expecting a very pleasant first half of the week and then as we head into Thursday, that's going to be our next weather system that's going to be moving through and we could see some significant rain chances out of this heading into early Friday morning uh, with our next strong cold front on the way as we head into the end of the week there. So we're still dealing with this roller coaster weather conditions as we head into the next several days. As far as our seven day forecast, expecting those temps once again to remain on the warmer side for today. So enjoy those warm temperatures today because tomorrow it's going to become cool and very windy with that cold front as we head into the weekend, getting up to about 61 on Sunday. 65 for a high on Saturday, but those temps are just going to be going back and forth and falling throughout the day with overnight lows in the 30s as we start our work week. So get those heavy jackets out because we're expecting those temperatures once again to remain on the cold side for the first half of the week and then remaining sunny through Monday and Tuesday.